In this video, you will learn that how to make IoT based smart farming. So, here you can see that uh, uh, the simulation and the circuit of the IoT based smart farming. So, let me explain the components that uh, we have used in this project. So, here you can see the Arduino Ono. Uh, this is 20 cross 4 LCD module, and uh, this is a LM35 temperature sensor and uh, here you can see the logic state as used as a rain sensor and uh, here you can see the potentiometer and this is used as a soil moisture sensor here you can see another potentiometer also call it a variable resistor and uh, this is used as a humidity sensor here you can see the uh, relay module and uh, here you can see the 12 volt uh, battery and here you can see the dc fan 12 volt dc fan again here you can see the relay module here you can see the water pump and it's a dc water pump 12 volt here you can see the 12 volt bat battery as well so all these are connected with the arduino and arduino will act as a main controller of the project so it's time to uh, check the code and uh, code have been completed here you can see and the comments are written almost with every line so you can uh, read it and uh, uh, let me now run it and after uh, compilation uh, copy the hex file address from here so let me copy uh, select it now press the ctrl c button and now paste the code in the arduino here so remove the previous address if available and now paste the new address now run the code so here you can see uh, nlct iot smart farming the project name uh, here you can see the temperature value uh, now the temperature value here is 25 so here you can see the 25 degree celsius here you can see the rain state so it's mean uh, no means that no raining uh, this zero means that uh, no rain and when it goes to one like this so here you can see that it's saying that yes so this means that zero means no rain uh, one means raining here you can see the soil moisture value and uh, here you can see the humidity sensor value here you can see the state of the fan so here now you can see that the fan is now turned off here you can see the motor or pump uh, state uh, it's in off state here you can see that the more pump is already off so now how it will work so, so the thing is that uh, here you can see that uh, the temperature sensor and the here you can see 30 value so the 30 means that this threshold value of the temperature sensor is uh, 30 degree celsius this means that uh, whenever the temperature increases from 30 degree celsius so then the fan should uh, turned off so it will the working principle of uh, this will be that uh, whenever the temperature increases from uh, 30 degree celsius so then the fan should uh, start uh, and this will be used for the cooling purposes and uh, here you can see the rain sensor so the rain sensor uh, will work like uh, whenever uh, rain started or uh, it's raining so then the water pump should uh, turn off either if that is already uh, before started so it will turn off the pump and if that is in off state so it will not to uh, allow the water pump to uh, start because if uh, it's raining so there is no need of uh, watering the farm the soil moisture sensor here uh, you can see the 40 percent it's three short value so whenever the temperature uh, sorry the soil moisture value is uh, uh, less than 40 percent so then the water pump should started this means that whenever it uh, uh, decrease from the 40 degree 40 percent so this means that now the farm need to a water so in case a uh, water pump started and after a few minutes uh, the rain started so then uh, the pump should automatically be stopped and here you can see the humidity uh, sensor and uh, there is uh, nothing that will control uh, with the help of this sensor but uh, it will need to be monitored 
and real time. So if you interface an IoT module in this project, so then you can uh, transmit the all these values to the uh, web server and can read it and can check it uh, with the help of uh, your mobile phone or uh, laptop computer anywhere in a world. So let me check it and how it works. So here you can see the temperature sensor is a 25 degree Celsius. So let me increase it. Here you can see that it also increase uh, increasing. So let me reach it to the 30. So 30 is uh, it's a threshold value. So whenever it uh, uh, increases from 30, so then the fan should turn it off. So here you can see, you will see the state of the fan on the LCD as well. So let me increase it. And here you can see the fan started and uh, you can see an LCD fan is now on. So the temperature sensor will control the fan uh, and uh, whenever it, uh, uh, it decreases from the 30 so then it will stop again. So here you can see the fan stopped now. Here you can see an LCD as well. So uh, now let me check the soil moisture how it works. So here you can see the soil moisture value is uh, 56%. Let me increase this. You can see that 81%. And uh, let me change it again. You can see. So now let me decrease this from 40. So let me decrease it. So here you can see that it now 41%. And the pump is uh, turned off. So now let me decrease this from 40 and check how it works. Also, you will see the uh, changes on LCD as well. So let me decrease it. Here you can see the pump started and you can see on LCD the pump is now on. So in this way the, the solar, uh, sorry, the, the soil moisture sensor will control the pump in this way. And now, uh, for example, the pump is started and uh, in this time uh, it's raining and rain started so it should be stopped automatically. Let me check it and here you can see the pump started because raining is now, yes. So it's raining so the pump you can see that it's turned off here you can see as well and when it uh, stop raining so then it will start so uh, another situation is that uh, let me uh, decrease it uh, increase it so here you can see the 46 percent so this will not then uh, allow the pump to start L for example it's already raining and the soil moisture value goes uh, down from 40 you can see here 42 41 and now 39 so you can see the pump is now not working so it will only be turned on when the rain sensor is zero so you can see that it's less than 40 but the pump is now turned off and here you can see whenever the rain sensor goes to zero so then it will start because now you can see the soil moisture value is 13 percent so this means that farm need uh, watering so whenever it uh, increases from the 40 so it will then stop here you can see the humidity sensor so let me change its value and check here you can see now it's uh, 56 percent so let me decrease increase it to 80 and uh, you can see 98 uh, let me decrease this 45 uh, 12 percent uh, 23 percent so this will uh, measure the humidity and uh, it will display an lcd and when uh, if you installed here in this circuit the iot module or wi-fi chip so then you can transmit the these values uh, to the web server and uh, also you can make a mobile app and you can monitor all these values with the help of your mobile phone smartphone and also you can check it on website as well using uh, laptop pc etc so here you have checked the temperature sensor its value 3 should value 30 and let me check again it so here you can see the fan is started and uh, let me check both uh, at the same time so let me decrease the soil moisture value here here you can see the pump started here you can see motor is on and fan is also on so in this way it will work the circuit diagram and code link is available in the description you can download from there if you like the project please subscribe my channel also like and share the video visit my channel for more videos related to arduino thanks for watching